Hello everybody, I'm Cezar Karolu, I'm the CTO and co-founder of 3D Universum. I would like to start my presentation with asking a question. If you look at these two images, what can you tell about them? Except my colleague is handsome, can you tell how tall he is? Or can you tell what's the size of a bathtub? With just looking at 2D images, this is not possible. We are living in a 3D world and experiencing it in 3D. However, we are enforced to leave this world with limited 2D images. And in 3D Universum, we are changing this. We developed a technology where you can use mobile devices to scan real world items such as furniture, houses or bodies. But what you can do with these 3D models? I will just try to give a couple of examples. I don't know if I'm the only one who does online shopping just to gain time. But what if the trouser that I order doesn't fit me? I have to pack it back, I have to return it to the service point, and I have to come home. Did I actually gain time there? Not really. But if the shop owner would have proper body size of mine because of the 3D scans, then he will be able to recommend me which trouser would fit me perfectly. Or he could even tailor to me. Or, we are all working for that days, holidays. You search, you make your research, you do which hotel you want to go, and you arrange it, and you arrive at the room, you open the door, bang, it's over. What you see in the pictures and what you get in the reality is not the same. The size of the bed doesn't look that small in the pictures, or you do not have even space to walk in the room. But if you would have the 3D space of this room, then you will be able to move around everywhere that you would like to then you will be able to make better decisions and less disappointments. Last but not least, I have collected very beautiful memories with my grandmother until the age of 98 that she passed away. But the last five years of her was not as beautiful as the other years. She was not able to walk and she was not even able to stand. Due to this, her body started to make complications. She started to have wounds on her skin and she had to regularly check doctors. But can you imagine a person who cannot even stand that visiting a hospital? I can tell that was not a nice experience. But thinking now, if we would have this technology, then I will be able to scan the wounds and either send it to her doctor or just bring by myself and show to the doctor and the doctor will be able to give better decision or prescriptions but not requiring her to be in the hospital. Then I will have more time to spend with my grandmother rather than spending at hospital corridors. I would like to finish my talk with a presentation, therefore I uh, ask my help from my colleague. So I will perform a real-time scanning of my colleague that you will see how easy we can reach this technology to everybody. Okay, if you can, Morris, stand here. So everything will be performed real-time on the mobile device. And not that I do have to record him, then I will have memories of him in 3D. Yeah, thank you, Marcy. So you can see everything performed in real-time and the 3D model is ready, which is actual representation of the real-world items. Now it is just taking different view wing conditions and try to colorize this 3D model. So I have shown how easy to use this technology and I've shown some examples where we can make our lives better. But I'm really looking forward to hear your stories where we can use this technology to make our lives better. Thank you.